doing a panoramic. Now this is a, a little different, not a lot of agencies do this, and it might be something to do in addition to your normal overview photographs. It's, it's a way that you can take a series of photographs, overlapping photographs, blend them together to make one larger view. So imagine that maybe you could stand in one corner of the room and take a series of photographs that show the entire room and then blend them together and have one long picture. I'm just talking about maybe doing overviews where maybe you take two photographs in each room instead of four. And the advantage there may be that because you see more in each of those two pictures, it makes more sense than trying to look at four pictures, one from each corner. So how do we do this? Well, let me go over the steps first, and then we'll actually uh, look at some pictures. You set your camera on a tripod. You make sure your camera is pointing straight out. You can use, uh, I wouldn't use wide angle. Instead, I would use normal if possible and be able to take smaller pieces to blend together. In fact, if we're talking about an overview in a room, I'm gonna turn the camera vertical. Instead of horizontal like it normally is, I'm gonna turn it vertical, put it on a tripod so I can rotate it on the tripod to show the, the entire room from one corner. You should overlap, you're gonna take several photographs and they need to be overlapping photographs. So I just try to overlap by 25% maybe. Um, and then, but if you overlap even more, it gives the software more to work. You're gonna use one focal length, you don't change the focal length and you don't change the focus. You, you, know, you preset everything, use a nice small uh, lens opening so you get good depth of field. And then you just take these overlapping photographs. So you're gonna have a whole bunch of pictures and then you blend them together. So let's look at some photographs I took uh, at one of the in-person classes. I took six photographs. So I'm standing in one corner of the room. I have the camera turned vertical. I have my lens on normal instead of wide angle. And I take my first photograph, turn the camera so it overlaps. So see, here's this whiteboard. So I'm overlapping some of the whiteboard. I'm about halfway. And then I continue going around. And then you go into Photoshop and you combine them and you have this as your result. All right, so that's what we wanna do. So you can imagine that this might be a little better for overviews. You could do it from two spots in the room. So for this, what I want to do is go to File, Automate, and then Photo Merge. It asks me to select the pic pictures I want. And so here are my photographs, my original photographs, and I have them loaded. Now, down here, it says blend images together. Yes, that's what we want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click, and now the computer is going to do some work. Dun, 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 dun. Over here on the right, you see it's loading these all and aligning the layers. There. And there it is. Now, uh, it's a little different than the finished uh, object I showed you before because it's a little raggedy on the edges. So what we do is we actually just use the crop. Over here are the photos that I had used. It is using a portion of each one to give us this panoramic. 
if I click on the eyeball, it should turn off the layer. So I'm going to turn these off so we can see what it did. So from the first photograph, the computer decided to use this. Second photograph, that. Third photograph, just a little bit. Fourth photograph. Fifth photograph and big chunk for the last photograph. I'm going to go ahead and crop it now. What you do is you go ahead and crop it the way you want. So it's nice and clean looking. Click on OK. And there's our finished picture. And there are some agencies where they are using uh, panoramics at their crime scenes.